How do I use robots for decode? This is the Robit starter bot for the Decode game challenge. It's designed to be made completely out of the parts found in the Robit's core kit. The Robit starter bot is designed to drive around the field, acquire game pieces from a human player, and launch them into the goal. This year's robot is designed to be as simple as possible to achieve the game tasks. This includes no actuators in the hopper, no floor pickup, and no additional actuators for indexing. Everything game piece related is gravity, or the catapult itself. In some locations, you'll find that things are attached and fastened together at slightly odd angles using zip ties. This is intentional and allows teams to finally tune in exactly how everything goes together. New to our core kit this year are the use of encoders. For this, we're using the built-in encoders on the back of our NeverS motors for being able to provide an accurate driving auto. Example code for this robot can be found on our website. Let's dig into the chassis. This year's chassis is similar in nature to last year's chassis, but we're using some of the updated components in our new core kit. For example, this year's chassis uses our new molded Omni wheels, which have a rounder profile, making them smoother than before. Additionally, they're a little easier to assemble because there are less parts. On the back, we're using our Neverest hex motors, which have a built-in hex shaft making them even easier and no longer require adapters. On one side of the robot, we're using stealth wheels to provide a good amount of traction. And on the other side of the robot, we're using Omni wheels so that the robot has an easy time turning when you're driving around the field. Overall, this chassis is our traditional starter chassis with a normal four wheel drive, where one motor on one side will drive both wheels on that side, and the motor on the opposite side will drive both wheels on that side. Our tower is the attachment point for both our catapult and our hopper, as well as holds some intricate features of the latch system. There's a large hopper assembly on the side which can accept game pieces from the human player. This hopper is powered by gravity, making it incredibly simple and reliable. As game pieces enter the robot through the hopper, they pass down to the bottom in which they would transition to the catapult. When the catapult is retracted, the game piece automatically feeds in and when the catapult is released, it prevents additional game pieces from going into the catapult cradle. Speaking of the catapult, the catapult is the main scoring mechanism on this robot. The catapult uses a pretty clever design that uses a single motor for both holding it back in position and rapidly releasing that energy. So the way the catapult works is there's a motor here that's driving a pair of gears and that turns this coaxial shaft. So on the shaft is the pusher bar, which can push the catapult arm down into the latch position. When that rotates the other direction, it presses the release, causing the catapult to fire. Other things teams will find is on catapult-based systems, they're using stored energy to rapidly move the ball through the air. The catapult is driven by these rubber bands. As you go through your season, you may find that your rubber bands will fatigue after use. Be sure to have a plan to replace rubber bands as they get fatigued. Another task robots may need to do on the field this year is articulate the gate assembly. On the Robit starter robot, there are many locations in which you can articulate the gate assembly. We found that this edge of the hopper assembly, whether it's the crossbar or the ball stop, are great for pushing the gate assembly from this half of the robot. On the other side of the robot, there are two plates that can act as a good pushing mechanism for the gate handle. Clever teams will find that the inclined nature of our hopper assembly will allow the gate to be articulated while driving past it. One of the biggest improvements you see each year is switching the chassis to a mechanum drive. This is fairly easy because most of the side is open for any additional changes and the additional motors required for mechanum drive. Teams may find they want to launch from multiple different locations. This can be achieved with a few different options such as increasing or decreasing the amount of tension in your stored energy device, changing your hard stop location for the catapult arm, or changing the cradle angle. The robot starter robot can only load from the human player. Teams may find they want to be able to pick up from the floor, and in those cases, adding some form of floor pickup would be a strong addition to this robot. 
The Robit Starter Robot for the Decode Challenge has been tested significantly on the field, and we believe provides a very consistent manner for teams to be able to be successful in the Decode Challenge. This year's starter bot uses a lot of concepts that may be new or foreign to teams, and they'll have to do some testing and tuning to make sure it performs exactly the way they're expecting. Good luck teams, make sure you read the manual, and that's how you use Robits into code.